All right, guys, welcome to my channel. And behind me is my 94 uh, V8 LT1 T56 Camaro Z28. And in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to remove the engine and tranny out of this thing the easiest way possible. So let's get into today's video. All right, so first things first, as you guys can see, I already have a lot of this already teared down. Actually, there's only about six bolts that I have left in just holding the engine and tranny up. I wanted to do all of the actual physical work uh, before dropping it and then show you guys exactly what you need to do. So we're gonna start with the ECU. The ECU needs to be free, and I believe there's only two bolts that holds it down right back there. So I'll show you those two bolts. Uh, shoots, get some sun in there. All right, these are the two bolts that holds the ECU down. So let's get that out of the way. And then you have some wires, your negative terminal. This wire here comes from right here. You just loose that. You have the wire for the positive, which actually comes from right here. So you just take the po positive wire off of that. You also loose the positive wire from your the back of your alternator. I took out my condenser. You might not need to, but I just wanted as much space as possible in the front here. So I took out my condenser, took out the radiator, removed all the hoses, uh, removed the air box, uh, disconnected the fuel lines. And also you're gonna have to remove the two front brake lines because the entire front subframe is gonna drop. So you're gonna be taking the wheels, the engine, pretty much all the suspension and uh, if you drop down in the front if you look down in front you're gonna see where um, we had to disconnect the sway bar from the body so it's just one there and then one mount there also I disconnected my AC lines right here disconnected those um, pretty much wire harness is gonna drop with the engine so you don't have to worry about that you have to take that bolt out of your steering column so that's gonna drop with it one small bolt right there that holds the linkage together. Um, what I did with my slave was I completely removed the slave from the transmission. So what I'm gonna do is as I lower the vehicle, I'm just gonna snake it out of the way. Um, so I don't have to lose that line. And I think that's it for up top. When it comes to the subframe bolts, we're gonna head underneath the car now and I'll show you pretty much everything you have to loose from underneath. But just let, let's recap before we move any, any further. Um, the positive and negative terminals, you have to remove the ECU. You can just throw that right on top of your motor, just like that. Um, and also, you're gonna wanna leave these two shock bolts intact so that the engine doesn't drop because everything will drop once you loose the subframe bolts and those two bolts. Um, you want to lower this down nice and slow when you get it going just to make sure if there's anything pinched you can uh, stop and remove it or adjust it out of the way but let's go underneath now and I'll show you everything you need to drop to get this thing out all right so now that we are underneath um, I have the exhaust already cut uh, some people say you have to remove the drive shaft bolts but what I'm gonna do I have enough space to drop this entire thing down and just pull it out to the front so that's what I'll do and then you know the drive shaft is just gonna pull out the torque arm right here that's on the side of the drive shaft you have to loose just the front end that's onto the transmission and you'll be good these two bolts right here are for the trans brace that goes across you have to take the trans brace out as you can see mine is already going there's one bolt here for the mount and four bolts for the trans brace itself you gotta loose the um shifter from up top uh meaning there's a little heat shield boot thing you gotta remove that and then it'll drop down um also slave cylinder on that side and then let me try to get you a good visual shot of where all of the subframe bolts are and then I'll show you guys how I'm going to be dropping this thing out. Okay, so what I'm going to do to make this a lot easier on you guys, because it was kind of hard for me to follow the videos that I watched uh, with removing the subframe bolts. All of us know that this is the crankshaft harmonic balancer. So if you're looking from underneath your car, you're going to come straight to the left right where this mount is. Um, for your sway bar, these are the two mounts here that you have to lose for your sway bar to get the sway bar to drop with the subframe. And the minute you come underneath, you're gonna buck your first subframe bolt. This is the first one. As you continue to come down, that there, right there, is going to be your second one. And as you continue to come further back, that's your third one. So uh, if you're counting from the back of the car, there's one right here behind the wheel. 
one right there, pretty much like mid with the wheel. And then if you move forward, there's one right there. And there's three bolts on each side and they're in the same position on the other side. So once you drop these three bolts um, and you drop the same bolts, the same three on the other side, you drop the trans brace and you cut your exhaust, you should be good to drop this thing out. So we're gonna attempt to remove it now and I'll show you guys how I do it. All right, so before I drop this thing, I wanna show you guys how I'm doing it. Um, I actually have my own um, forklift that's over here, but we're having some issues out of that. So what I'm gonna be doing is using my, uh, the way that I have the car up, I'm gonna be using my jack that's underneath there. It's holding the subframe up now. And I'm gonna lower the subframe down onto this pallet jack, remove the jack, and try to pull the engine forward and probably use the jack yet again to lift the front of the vehicle to get everything free um, but that's how we're gonna do it so all I have to do now is loose those two subframe bolts that I left in loose these four shock tower bolts and drop the engine down and we should be good to go All right guys, there you have it. This is the full front end dropped out of the car. We'll go over this again, four bolts inside the um, shock towers, both shock towers. Uh, you gotta release the sway bar from, the, um, from up underneath the frame. And there are three bolts in each side of the subframe. One, two, and three. Three bolts on that side. You gotta loose the steering shaft. You gotta cut your exhaust or drop it from where there's a piece for you to loose it from. The trans brace and drive shaft, and you are good to go. Loose all the wiring and um, take out the radiator. I took out my condenser just to give me some more space. And that was it. It's a pretty easy drop out. Um, I didn't drain my transmission, so I got a pretty um, good amount of oil on the ground, but I put some stuff down to absorb it. And um, yeah, that's how you take a LT1 and a T56 out of a Z28 4th Gen Camaro. All right, guys, that's pretty much it for this video. Um, definitely, we're going to be taking this engine apart. We're going to be taking the Trani apart as well, cleaning it up. This vehicle actually went underwater, so we want to make sure everything is good. I'm going to be carbureting this motor. We're not going back EFI, so we're going to go HEI distributor and a carbureted manifold and a 750 Holly carburetor. Um, other than that, we're gonna delete every, uh, delete the Opti Spark, delete all that stuff. So you definitely want to stay tuned for that. Um, if there's anything that I didn't cover in this video about how to take this thing out, make sure to leave it in the comments below. If this video helped you guys out at all, make sure to hit that like button if you want more content like this uh, on this vehicle. Make sure to subscribe and turn on post notifications so you guys don't miss a video. But that's all I have for you guys for today. Uh, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. And always remember, don't drift without your dreams. And catch you guys on the next one.